MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Washington Nationals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. We've got an excellent matchup on our hands in this one. Two of the league's craftiest starters go head-to-head -head next. Clayton Kershaw gets the start for Los Angeles in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. When you think about the Cy Young Award, he's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. And we kick things off tonight with a swing and a miss for a first pitch strike as we're underway. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. You see a guy taking swings like this. I think as a pitcher right here, you got to expand the zone even more. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. A moment now to take a look at the visiting Washington Nationals. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. This one is launched. Look at this. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. As the Nationals strike first, it's one to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Ryan Zimmerman. As Kershaw will get the upper hand here with strike one. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's got eight hits in 25 tries. He also has one home run. Slow curveball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back. It's strike two. Hey after giving up that extra base hit right there. I love the fact that he came back with much better location. Much better execution. That might have woke him up. So he sets him down swinging. Ryan Zimmerman is the second out of the opening frame. Next will be the cleanup hitter Anthony Rendon as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Right over the middle knee high. Two out nobody on. Now a shot sent off to the right side but foul. Kershaw into the windup looking to put him away here on a ball in two strikes and it's fouled away. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. But the Nationals do get a run on the Bryce Harper home run. Home half of the first coming up at Dodger Stadium and Washington has the early 1-0 lead. Max Scherzer gets the ball for Washington in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Max Scherzer. Hello, Chief. It's Max. Max. It's not Agent 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid-90s fastball. Powerhouse slider and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. And that one just missed outside. 
In the on deck circle is Manny Machado. He'll bat next. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference in this game. Last season, he won the National League Rookie of the Year, and I'll tell you what, he was so impressive. Particularly down the stretch, he never got fatigued, and he continued to produce from April till October. What a year he put together. Manny Machado comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Past battles with Scherzer. He's got one hit in 22 tries. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Justin Turner is on deck. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. So striding forward now, Justin Turner looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. You want to talk about setting the tone and getting your teammates relaxed? That's exactly what this pitcher did, coming in and punching tickets. First two batters of the game. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. And now for Washington, Juan Soto. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Machado onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And let's shine the light on shortstop Manny Machado. That's right, shortstop. He can play third. He can play short. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best defenders in the game. Here's the first pitch to him. Right over the middle, knee high. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a real treat today. Guys, what can we expect from the matchup? Well, Matty, these are two guys that aren't hard throwers. They're more touchy feely guys. Hard, soft, up, down, in and out, D-Row. And these are the kind of guys that can really frustrate you when you're in that batter's box. 100%, Dan. When you got a flamethrower on the mound, he's going to live and die with his good stuff. But when you got a finesse guy out there, you step out of the box and a lot of different thoughts start entering your mind. What should I sit on? This is going to be an interesting matchup. Line toward center field. That gets down and the inning continues. So a two out knock and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. Into the box now. Matt Leaders. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. I know the umpire balled that one right there, but it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive player, you've got to build that rapport with the umpire. He can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate. Number 13, shading to his right, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Nationals one, and the Dodgers nothing. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Leading Bellinger set to lead off the home Center half Jordan. of the second. Cody. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Yeah. Fastball called for strike two. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Scherzer has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Oh man, he just tied him up in knots right there. 
boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. A ball and a strike. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Max Scherzer. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Max Scherzer. Popped up. Hernandez has a play. One down. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a runner at first with one out now. And that will bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there. Now the throw. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Well, when a stolen base is that close, it's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. Turner leads off second with one gone in the inning. Runner breaks for third. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. And he's called out on a close play at third. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the 0-2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Nothing doing for Washington. But they're up one to nothing. Now at the plate, Kike Hernandez, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. Tough slider down low for a strike. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher, but if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. So he got him swinging. Yasiel Puig becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. Kershaw. So coming to the plate, Clayton Kershaw. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. It remains one nothing. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Hit out towards second. And Zimmerman has a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh.
He's ready. Here's the 1 0. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Kershaw now on 1 and 1. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Bellinger looking up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Two run shot to straight away center as the Nats move out in front now, three to nothing. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world. And when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it just like he did there. Juan Soto to the plate now. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that finds its way through for a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Victor Robles digging in now. As Kershaw will get the upper hand here with strike one. Here comes the 0 1. Popped him up. Turner has room in foul territory. One away. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. One for one after a single this first time up. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Now a snap throw to first, and he'll be back in standing up. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. The 1-1. One, one is looked at for ball number two. You know guys these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make him bring up something straight in the strike zone. Took a good cut that time but comes up empty two and two. Two two line drive to center field and that'll get down for a base hit. He'll get it into second and that's the second out. Digging in to try it again. Matt Weeder. He popped out in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A little bouncer. Defoe leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Pop high in the air. Hernandez is under it. And the inning is over. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two run home run. Bottom. Ready for another chance. Chris Taylor back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mouth. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. 
staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Stepping into the box, Justin Turner looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 0 1. A wave and a miss. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count. And a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One left for L.A. They trail it here three to nothing. So here now is the pitcher, Max Scherzer, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Max Scherzer. Back to work now is Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man, nothing in one. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Here's Kershaw's 0 and 2 offering. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Trey Turner. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Up around the face. Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the move is Taylor. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Hit hard to the right side. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Nationals three, and the Dodgers nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, number 13. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. The 1-1. And he fouls this one off. The 1-2. Misses for the second ball. Too high. Ball three. Great A-B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence. But they got a shot to get back in this one. Swung on. And he went fishing in the dirt. The throw down to first. One away. So digging in now, Yosemite Grandal. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Boy, good fight on the slider, and it just missed inside. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. First pitch on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Ball two. Behind on the swing that time, and it's two and one. Called strike two. Just got a piece to the right side. And the pitcher will just run over and take this one himself, and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order. 
Still down 3 nothing. Ready once again, Ryan Zimmerman. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Zimmerman swings, and this ball sent out to deep left field. Gone! So a solo home run here for Ryan Zimmerman. And the Nationals have now taken a 4-0 lead. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. d -Row, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, well, there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. Rendon. Anthony Rendon will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth Rendon. inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Tap down the line. And he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away. It stays a foul ball. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. In now, Juan Soto. Hot shot on the ground is short. And now against his body, a jump throw. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll see. So here it is again with show track. Shows off some great range, and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. Victor Robles digging in now. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. No hits to this point. Hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Here it comes on nothing and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Digging in, Wilbur Defoe, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Kershaw comes set, first pitch on the way. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. He's set and the one two pitch. Hit out towards second. Hernandez right there. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Nationals on the board on the home run by Ryan Zimmerman. And now is Yasiel Puig to start things out in their half of the Ladies sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. 
No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Another 1 2 delivery. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt Kemp will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0-2 now. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Chris Taylor. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. And he struck him out. 16 for the ball game, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They trail here four to nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. Kenta Maeda is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. Around first is Weeders on his way to second now. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat hit out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bouncer up the middle, taken in by Machado. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Taylor is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Bryce Harper will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go. A solo home run that had him off and running early on. Ready. Here's the first offering. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Washington leads this one four to nothing. Here's Manny Machado now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Manny Machado is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my man on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And that one just missed outside. He 
Ah gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. The one two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Dodgers down in order. They're down 4 nothing. Digging in, Ryan Zimmerman. He homered earlier and is 2 for 3 to this point. First pitch on its way. Way in front of a great slider that time. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. In now is Anthony Rendon, and if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. Stepping into the box, Juan Soto. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. In the air to center field and deep back at the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center and the Nationals have made this a five nothing game. Standing in now, Victor Robles. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Puig on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Nationals able to add on thanks to the long ball. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Nationals five and the Dodgers nothing. Coming to the plate now, number 13. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. Struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Soto moves over. Oh, he botched it. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, in his defense, he did have to go a long way to get there, but that's not the problem. The problem is once he arrives, he doesn't catch the dang ball. He knows as well as anybody that he should have brought that one in, and it's going to cost him an error. And we'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. Greg Holland is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 56, Greg Holland. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And a fastball upstairs here that runs it to 2-0. Oh. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so... This has been a better approach by him at this at that much more patient and he's gotten himself into a good hitters count two and two to the Dodgers catcher no one out with a runner at second got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time 
ready now, Kike Hernandez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. One out and a runner on second base. Hernandez behind the ball and two strikes. Curveball bounces and this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there and now he's only 90 feet away. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kike Hernandez becomes out number two this inning. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. A one and one count to Puig. Two outs here with a runner at third. A ball and two strikes now. And that misses two and two. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Dodgers leave one. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Welcome back to our MLB Network broadcast. Great look there at the skylines of Los Angeles and Hollywood. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Taylor comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now. He doubled his last time through. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Oh one pitch and he can't make contact on the bender. Oh and two. Shot toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number two, Adam Eaton. Good off speed pitch had him out in front for strike one. Weeders, the runner at second with one away. And that misses one and one. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. A bouncer to the left side and that's through a base hit. The relay and he will make it back in there. He's safe at third. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on boys old school new school I think I kind of stand right along that fence but one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. Now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box.
Into the box now, Trey Turner. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 0 1 on its way. Slapped hard the opposite way. Puig has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Here's Bryce Harper now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a drive out toward left center field. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. He comes across to score as the lead swells to 7 nothing. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He swings and grounds it to short. Machado is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. David Freeze will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the night. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Sean Doolittle makes the mound here. Not a safe situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 oh 1. Freeze has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. And there are the final numbers for the Washington starter. He was on point from the get go this evening. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Taylor behind 0 and 2 the count. One of the keys to good pitching is attacking early in the count. That's two pitches, two swings, and an 0 2 count. Let's see if he goes right after him and tries to bury him here on the third pitch. He throws him on the fastball there. Chris Taylor goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. Chopped weakly to the left. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? A seven nothing shutout final score tonight. Washington get the win on the heels of four home runs. Max Scherzer earns the victory on the mound. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for the ball game tonight. For the victorious Washington Nationals, seven runs on 13 hits. With one error, they left five men on base. For the Dodgers, no runs, just one hit, no errors, they left two men on base. The winning pitcher is Max Scherzer. The loss goes to Clayton Kershaw. Time of the ball game, three hours exactly. Tonight's paid attendance. A sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.